Jesus healed the wounds of leprosy patients, made the lame walk, opened the eyes of the blind, and even raised the dead Lazarus to life. He is an inspiration and motive behind the health apostolate in the Catholic Church. The health ministry of church in India has been working towards building the kingdom of God among the suffering, the poor, and the weak. It was to work towards this very purpose that 70 years ago, on the 29th of July, 1943, 16 religious sisters came together in a historic meeting at Guntur, chaired by the young bishop Ignatius Mumadi. They had been brought together by the vision and hard work of sister Dr. Mary Glowry, an Australian doctor nun who had devoted her life to working with and for the multitude living in dismal conditions in India. This historic meeting aimed at bringing about a collaboration and cooperation among the Catholic health institutes across the country would culminate in the birth of the Catholic Hospital Association of India. Seventy years later, this organization, now called the Catholic Health Association of India, has grown from a seed to a strongly rooted tree that shelters over 3,300 member institutions in 11 regional units and works across the country taking health and healing to those who need it the most. The team that founded the Catholic Health Association of India was 16 sister doctors from different parts of the country. They founded this organization with the view of bringing all those who are involved in the health ministry to enable them to have a great we feeling as well as to look for ways of empowering themselves to through capacity building programs the vision of the catholic health association of india is to bring health for all this would mean social, mental, physical and spiritual health. The mission of CHAI is to promote community health, control communicable diseases, sustain advocacy and provide relief to disaster victims. To realize this vision and mission, CHAI works in various ways in implementing and supporting many programs in collaboration with its member institutions and governmental and non-governmental agencies. Adopting community health has been the focus of the Catholic Health Association of India. Chai views health as not merely the absence of sickness, but as a state of complete physical, mental, social and spiritual well-being. In order to establish and support healthy, vibrant communities, we work towards empowering and capacity building of the nurses, ASHA workers, ANMs and other grassroots level workers who are directly responsible for bringing awareness among the communities. A healthy community is also one that is inclusive and caring. CHAI has been making efforts towards working for the people with disabilities, partnering in various projects to sensitize health workers and community members to promote community-based rehabilitation and to provide medical and surgical intervention. If you are to make comparison to other countries, especially the developed countries, you know, I think our inclusion policies or inclusion practice is not anywhere closer to any one of them. In terms of society accepting persons with disabilities, I think we have a long way to go because even now you can see that uh, persons with disabilities are discriminated against and the attitudes, you know, the societal attitudes are more uh, negative towards them. At the same time, you know, we have made a little bit of strides in different areas, 
but a lot needs to be done starting from our own member institutions the accessibility of our member institution towards people who are disabled is lacking our country today also has an aging population and we are making efforts to train health practitioners in geriatric care following in the footsteps of our founder chai and its member institutions also research and promote alternative or parallel medicine making traditional knowledge relevant in the modern day among our large rural population alternative medicine can not only replace but also complement allopathic medicines with no side effects and at much lower cost to truly empower our health workers to work towards community health chai has collaborated with igno to start a community college where students can enroll in certificate diploma and associate degree programs since its inception chai has worked fervently to contain the spread of communicable diseases and to alleviate the pain of those suffering from such diseases tuberculosis has been one disease that the medical fraternity in india has failed to tackle as of today a tuberculosis epidemic still persists in india chai with its member institutions has collaborated with various partners in implementing the akshaya and the revised national tuberculosis control program we were able to control uh, uh, so many communicable diseases okay recently we eradicated polio also comes to the tb we are we, we completely failed the thing is now the rnt system whatever we are having in the country it is not reaching the communities directly to their doorstep we are trying to bridge the gap between the community and the systems our member institutions and health practitioners are actively involved in detecting and treating tuberculosis in many parts of india in the last few decades hiv aids has posed a major threat to life and well-being of communities in india and the developing world chai and the catholic church in india were among the first to recognize the hiv epidemic in india and frame a policy to deal with hiv aids even before the government of india was ever on the scene the catholic health association of india was able to put in place a policy a policy that said that none of our healthcare institutions will ever turn down an hiv aids patient miseria was one of the first agencies who acknowledged together with chai that there was a, an hiv epidemic in this country long before the government actually acknowledged it and um so the, the, there's been a lot of training on for people on how to manage how management of hiv in the clinic management of people living with hiv over 150 of our member institutions across the country have community care centers to care for those affected by hiv so this is one of the community care center in this uh, district so all these patients come over here for the overall not only prevention supportive all this level we are working with the patient children we have a outreach program and uh, ip op all this overall development of the so they can able to live better uh, livelihood in their community these centers impart support love and affection to the newborns children pregnant women adults and the old many have benefited in these centers many have found a new life and many have found a reason to continue living everybody is talking about drugs for these children because they are hiv infected and uh, i felt from the very beginning the basic principles of healthcare has to be applied in the life of these children which is preventive promotive and then curative we recently did a pcr analysis and all our children are on zero uh, viral level that means there is no detectable level of virus in their blood at, at this point so they are not infectious which is again a wonderful uh, accomplishment i'm so excited that their future looks so hopeful um 
some years ago when I started, I was one of the big concern I had was, will these children find uh, partners for marriage? Today, I feel that by the time they are reaching the marriageable age, we will be able to, you know, arrest the replication of the virus. They can marry even normal people. <laughs> Chai is also focused on the control and management of non-communicable diseases. Cancer has been one of the deadliest diseases, claiming the lives of many, bringing unbearable pain and torment not only to the patient but to their families as well. India is the diabetic capital of the world and with it other lifestyle diseases are on the rise. We at Chai are committed to caring for these patients and helping them manage their diseases and conditions better and providing medical intervention. Cancer treatment is always expensive, especially ongo surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, or anything uh, connected with cancer is also always expensive. So we work with Catholic Hospital Association of India in uh, implementing a lot of programs like um, uh, supportive programs, counseling programs, and uh, social programs, awareness programs. Human suffering is compounded and amplified during natural disasters. Many are left dead, injured, homeless, orphaned, and hungry. In times of such dire need, Chai, along with its member institutions and medical staff, has been at the forefront, working actively to provide medical and food supplies and post-disaster intervention. Chai, Chai uh, was the first to visit, for example, Latur earthquake uh, that nobody could enter. Chai was the first team and I was part of it. Uh, along with the director and many of the members, we went, visited and any natural calamities, Chai reached out even before the others, I would say. The medical help they would um, organize from all its member institutions and they were there. Latour, for example, our own sister doctor remained for more than, uh, more than a month, others remained six months. So I know that a group of, so a lot of uh, Chai initiatives reach out in times of natural calamities. The greatest strength of the Catholic Health Association of India lies in its members. Our 3,300 members include the most renowned medical colleges in India as well as small dispensaries in remote villages, multi-specialty hospitals, as well as Ayurvedic and nature cure centers. We are the largest network of non-governmental health institutions in the country. Our potential is best realized in the advocacy that we do. Many of our members are consultants and experts in governmental organizations, and we have undertaken various advocacy projects in different states to highlight issues concerning the working of our personal and the health of the people. Altogether, put together, we have a huge strength by its own standard. Nevertheless, it is more than 70,000 beds. It is a huge kind of a strength by itself. And if you all put together and direct them in one same for the nation building, we can make a lot of contribution for the nation building. And that's what we want to do. We are building a better society. No? Um, which we call the Kingdom of God. Actually speaking, Chai has helped many of the village, all these downtrodden areas of the poor people, first of all. And another asset, I think, uh, it has reached to, to the unreached. Some of the areas where, uh, you know, everyone uh, sort of gives up, it is so wonderful to see the faith-based institutions uh, actually pick up that responsibility to provide the care. As a network of health institutions and as a Catholic organization, we are committed to bringing health to everyone. We are also committed to upholding the values of compassion, care and love. Our member institutions are committed to helping people improve their quality of life. Those who are trained with us imbibe our core Catholic values and work as responsible and ethical medical practitioners in different parts of the country. Actually, you should find some time 
uh, to do the rural service only only in rural posting you would be able to know people much more better from the textbooks we uh, gain uh, just a medical knowledge just, uh, just how to prescribe but uh, the method of how to treat with the patients sometimes they might need only just a uh, conversation that would uh, that would heal their wound our member hospitals are among the best in the country and maintain international standards and every day hundreds of lives are saved and tens of thousands are healed by our institutions giving primary health care across the nation in 70 years we have worked well and worked hard to achieve the dream of our founder close to one fifth of the medical care in this country is provided by various Catholic institutions. We have been able to provide quality care to those suffering from diseases. Hope to those who are HIV positive, peace to those who are terminally ill, and love to those who have been rejected and discriminated against. I think it's a good thing and it's a good thing. We are confident to be confident. ಕಷ್ಟಬಂತ ಅಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ನಮ್ಮ ಲೈಫೇ ಹಾಳಾಯಿತು ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿನವೇ ಮುಗ್ದೋಯ್ತು ನೀನು ನಮ್ಮ ಲೈಫೇ ಮುಗ್ದೋಯ್ತು ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಬಾರ್ದು ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಕಷ್ಟ ಬಂದಾಗ ಇನ್ನು ಮುಂದೆ ಒಂದು ದಿನ ಒಂದು ಒಂದಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ದಿನ ಸುಖ ಬಂದೇ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಅನ್ನೋ ಭರವಸೆ ನಿರೀಕ್ಷೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇರಬೇಕು ನಾವು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯೆತ್ ವಿ ಫೇಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಚಾಲೆಂಜಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಕೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಎಂಟಿಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕೀನ್ ಆನ್ ಟರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟಬಲ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆನ್ ದ ರೈಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯೆತ್ to be tackled pricing of consumables is manipulated by pharmaceutical corporates governmental policies are often wishful and short sighted and while many indians are becoming more affluent there are still millions who are yet to gain access to health institutions 20 years back health ministry it was a service sector and it was with majority of the health the programs were with our catholic institutions but that that scenario has changed now health became more than a service it became an industry one of the external challenges is the policies of the government i think you know the private sector especially the non profit private sector is not involved in the policy making of the country even when the non profit private sector takes care of more than 20 to 25% of the healthcare needs of course we have the public health system the government health system which is we all know what its status is then we have now a new entity called